2019 is going to be the year where the cryptocurrency market is going to heal. And there are some great projects out there, okay? You can't dig through all the projects and trying to buy everything. Focus on a few, a few digital assets. If you're a paranoid person, um, or not paranoid, if you want to play it safe, and, you know, just remember, every cryptocurrency is a very volatile asset, but the safest of them all, you know, you cannot go wrong with this bet, is to buy Bitcoin. If I was to recommend one digital asset, it would be Bitcoin. Nothing else crosses my mind. But there are other great assets out there that are worth mentioning, absolutely. Let's say you want to diversify. What if you say, well, you know, buying Bitcoin is great, but I want something else. I want to test the waters on another crypto asset. You can buy Ethereum. Ethereum is a great crypto asset. Smart contracts, doing great, absolutely doing great. You know, regardless of what you hear on the news and how uh, certain companies and certain groups of people who are developing in the cryptocurrency community have been affected by this market. Everything is still moving very fast, very forward. Ethereum is still a great asset to buy. So we've got Bitcoin and we've got Ethereum. Okay. What else? What else can we get? Monero. Monero is the third asset I'm going to I'm going to say, if you're buying Bitcoin and Ethereum, you should definitely include Monero. There is no wrong bet with a privacy coin. In my opinion, the most important privacy coin on the market. So you've got Bitcoin, you've got uh, Ethereum, and you've got Monero. So these are the core cryptocurrencies. Okay. But let's say you want to diversify even more. Let's say you want to diversify in other hidden gems, okay, cryptocurrencies out there that have great utility and might not have such a large market cap. It's all about utility. It's all about a use case, providing a different way to enable this crypto asset to be used. We've got Bitcoin, we've got Ethereum, we've got Monero. Monero is a privacy coin. Ethereum is smart contract enabled. Bitcoin is the hard, hard asset, digital asset. Okay. These 10 minute blocks are hard at work. But let's bring utility into the into the game. Kin is another cryptocurrency that is undervalued. Okay, they've got around 50 apps that are integrating Kin right now that have a, a lot of use cases between selfie apps, games, um, video chat, normal chat, Wi-Fi apps, VPN apps. It is all about utility. And Kin is one of those few cryptocurrencies I can say has drastically improved um, their outlook in 2018 in this market. They have got more developers involved, more applications involved, they are scanning their own blockchain and integrating all these applications into the ecosystem. I cannot say that about many other uh, cryptocurrencies right now. Not at all. And there's only a few. We've got Bitcoin. We've got Ethereum. We've got Monero, privacy coin. We've got Kim, utility coin. This utility coin will be used throughout applications, mobile apps, maybe web apps in the future. There's only a few that are really important. Those are the, these are the safe bets. I'm sure there are maybe 100, 200 other great cryptocurrencies to buy. But I want to focus on the ones that I've been working really hard and the ones that are a safe bet. I'm going to list another few cryptocurrencies out there quickly, just so you, you get your mind around and maybe research them and see what they are capable of. We've got Litecoin. Another good asset. We've got, let's see, we've got Zcash, an interesting privacy coin, an alternative implementation to privacy compared to Monero. 
let's see. We've got all my go working on a plasma implementation for they are basically um, a scaling project for Ethereum. So if you're not sure what Omize Go is doing at the moment, and personally I think they're doing, doing, doing a great job. They have a lot of researchers working with them. They are working to scale Ethereum and I'm going to list all the links in the description box below so you can have a look and research each cryptocurrency that I just mentioned. And I just want to go back, in my opinion, to just the utility concept of cryptocurrencies. Ethereum has great utility. Okay, it's currently expensive to use Ethereum, but a lot of dApps are build, being built around it. A lot of dApps are being built around it, and the Ethereum ecosystem is growing vastly. And you've got the Kin ecosystem. A lot of applications are integrating into the ecosystem. It's growing massively as well. You know, it's a lower cap uh, cryptocurrency by the way and it is it is growing in the background and I'm telling you when the time is right when these when these projects become when they get the the attention they deserve is going it's it's you know it's gonna be massive so just keep an eye out for the coins that I've mentioned um, for 2019.